The slider question is a really simple way for people to quickly rate a product or experience on a sliding scale. Just slide, click, or enter a number. Let's learn how to set this up and how it looks when you view your results. When you add a slider question to your survey, it's almost ready to go straight away. Just enter your statement or question at the top, but as always, you can customise. You can change the labels to whatever you'd like them to say. However, this just changes the text. So if you want to change the range of numbers, you need to change the scale as well. To do that, click Options, Adjust Slider Scale, and change your range. The step size lets you choose how much the slider goes up by each time you move it. So if you have the step size as one, the slider will go up by one each time. If you change it to two, you'll see it go up by two each time. Then change the start position to the left, center, or right side of the slider. If you want to simplify the look of your question a bit, you can hide the numerical input box. When people fill out your survey, they'll just be able to use the slider instead of being able to type in a number as well. When you check out your results, by default you'll see a bar chart that shows the average rating. Below you'll find a data table that shows the average number, the sum of all the numbers chosen, and the amount of responses. Click the responses link to view each response individually. The scale of our question went up to 5, but the x-axis goes all the way up to 10. At first glance, the average number looks a little lower than it actually is. To fix this, click Customize, Display Options, and then change the maximum value of the axis to match the highest number in the question, 5. Perfect. If you want to get super mathematical, click Basic Statistics to show a grid with the median, mean, and standard deviation of your question. And if you're not a fan of green, click Colours to change the colour of your bar to suit your look.